Hi, my name is Justin Gordon. I'm going to show you how to use RubyMine using Michael Hartel's um, wonderful tutorial on how to learn how to do Ruby on Rails. It's called Rails Tutorial. Michael's a friend of mine and he was telling me how great Sublime Text Editor is. I said, no way. I think um, RubyMine is really, really super awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show exactly what Michael did in his video in RubyMine so you can compare the two. So first of all, I want to go and I want to tell you that I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to choose a key map, a Mac OS X 10.5. You have quite a range of different key maps you can use in RubyMine. And you can also, once you, um, you pick a key map, you can even take any key binding and you can add a keyboard shortcut. You can remove any of the keyboard shortcuts and it's absolutely wonderful. So you can completely customize exactly what you're doing with the keyboard. I'm going to click OK. So first thing that Michael showed is just the very basics of the um, Sublime Editor. First time you open up RubyMine, I believe it'll show you the project window. And the project window is essentially a direct, kind of shows you your directories and shows you the files in there. Notice they have different icons, which helps you find, find out which kind of file is which. So Michael um, mentioned that the most common command he uses in Sublime is a command to open up a file directly called go to anything. Well, in RubyMine, what we do is we do command shift O. So um, when it opens up, you can start typing in, say, say I want to go to the user model. I can type user.rb and that will take me into the user file. So here I've got user.rb. Uh, I'm using, if you can, I don't know if you can tell, I'm using the wonderful screen colors that they, um, they have for Railscast. That's customizable in RubyMine very easily. Also, the little um, dots underneath the word indicate that there's typos in the spelling. I find that very helpful. If you have a syntax error, for, um, for example, let me create a syntax error here. So now we got a syntax error. If you mouse over the syntax error, it'll tell you expected semicolon or end of line. If you're just using the keyboard, you can hit Command F1, and that will also show you the error. And sometimes they'll even offer to correct the error. So I'm going to hit Command Z and undo, undo my changes. Oh, there's one other thing I forgot, I think it's worth mentioning here that once you make a change, so say I change the name of this, that RubyMine shows you over on the left that um, there's a change. And you can actually see the change. You can go next, previous changes. You can view the change in a little change editor. And it's absolutely awesome to have Git integrated with RubyMine. This is a feature I use all the time. So for example, I'm going to click on this change and I'm going to undo it. So now I'm back to the way the file looked when it started out. Next, um, Michael showed how to get to the test file. So, so you can also do it with Command Shift O. And notice I can type in U under bar S and that will show user spec. So what that's doing is that it will, it uses the under bar to delimit the words. In this example here, notice that you can see the U is highlighted and you can see the um, underbar S is highlighted. It's super, super neat. But I've got an even better way. Let me open this up and I'm going to close it and I've got an even better way we can get to the test. You can go under the navigate menu and you can go navigate directly to the test. In fact, the navigate menu has a lot of awesome options here that I definitely encourage you to check out. So let's navigate directly to the test. In some cases, when there's more than one test that you might want to go to, then RubyMine will show you the options. So the, um, what, one of the things that Michael mentioned that he wants to do is he wants to see these files side by side. So can we do that in RubyMine? Of course we can. Before we do that, though, I want to get a little bit of extra screen space here. So I can close the project window. You can close it by clicking over on right there. I can open it and also notice the, under, the one is un, underbarred. So I can hit command one and that will also 
toggle the project window. The project window is very handy. I go to it all the time. A lot of times I'll actually go to the project window because I want to see where the file is in the project. So you can go navigate and you can go with that option F1, select in. So select in project view and click on project. And there it shows you where user spec is. So if you want more screen space, another thing you can do is you can turn off these sidebars. And that's pretty neat. There, there's even other options there. You can even turn off the navigation bar, the status bar, and the toolbar. I'll leave those on. I like those. So now we want to split the screen. How are we going to do that? So you can right click on the file and I could say split vertically. Notice now user spec goes over to the right. Whatever file is visible will copy the other side. And I can close user spec there. Now another thing that I can do is let's say the line's real wide. I can change the splitter orientation. These are some types of operations you're definitely going to want to map to a keyboard if, um, if you do like using those. So I'm going to go back and I can split it vertically. So notice you can have actually, for every window, you can actually keep splitting it vertically or horizontally. And you can, you can remove the splitter. Let's see. Unsplit. There we go. And then I'm going to go back and I will change the split orientation. And now we're back to the original. Next, I want to show you is how we run the test in RubyMine. Super easy. Right click on the file and hit run user and that will run the test. So this runs a test and gives you lots of great information on the right hand side. You can see over here it gives you a total. You can hide it if you 